Ola concerned civil society organizations of Nigeria has said that in the interest of fairness and equity, the presidency in 2023 should go to the southeast region since the north had turned into human habitat under the incumbent administration. The Arsons front at a statement purportedly credited to Wan Halaji Sharima uh, Shatima, the president of Ariwa Consultative Youth Forum, saying that it is too late for the 2023 presidency to be zoomed to the southeast. It is own statement signed by Abdul Salami Mohammed Kazim. Harrison said it is improper and even outright provocative and inciting in nature. We strongly believe that no genuine democratic with sincere national interest and who cherishes the spirit of unity and corporate existence of Nigeria will utter such insensitive comments at the critical political uh, time in our country. It is not worthy to restate here that the position of our group calling for the rotational presidency among the six geopolitical zones of the country was as a result of our peculiar regional experiences, both past and present crop of elected and appointed leaders from within our region have failed us completely. They have failed to meet up with the expectations of our people and have continued to betray our trust, confidence and respect for them. For instance, from 1999 to date, which is 22 years now, the Northwest and Northeast zones have produced president, the vice president, the secretary to the government of the Federation, the Senate president and the speakers of the House of Representatives. The North Central Zone alone has produced two Senate presidents in 12 years, a Deputy Senate President and a Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives. Our three zones of the Northern Region is total, have produced more ministers, service chiefs and heads of government agencies more than any other region yet. There is nothing on ground to show for it. They only leverage on our population advantage, which though is an added advantage in a democratic setting. The said population is only useful to our region during electionary period. The major benefit of population advantage in economic is that it remains attractive to both the multinational and transnational companies that will want to cite industries in such location in order to maximize their market and get very cheap labor. Our northern region today has been reduced to human habitat, to say the least, where all our communities have been converted to a mass grave due to the failure of government at all levels. For instance, between October 2021 to date, over 100 and 50 citizens of northern extractions have been murdered by terrorists in Sokoto State alone, not to talk of Zamfara, Kebi, Kaduna, Kastina, Niger, Benue, Borunu, and Yubi State. Despite the claims by government that terrorism and violent insurgency is aggre aggressively uh, being fought, the North has remained a killing field. Our country is about the highest importer of arms and ammunition in Africa, and our region is simply the poverty capital of Nigeria. Yet, our people occupied and are still occupying the most sensitive position in government from 1999 to date. We are not sacrificed of government, but we are patriotic northerners too. With history of respect of constituted authority and for our elders. It is therefore the position of another our youth correlation, the Arewa Consigned Civil Society Organizations of Nigeria, that since our people in leadership positions in Nigeria cannot bring development, peace, progress, and prosperity to our region, let us try people of other regions, particularly the region 
or geopolitical zone that has not produced a president or vice president of Nigeria in order to further promote fairness, equity, unity, or oneness of the country. Mm -hmm. It's okay. That is good though, but we have to be very, very careful when we are saying these people have to, you know, produce this uh, uh, government. It must surely be from this particular region. What I'm trying to say here is, who is the person? So that it will not look like we are coming from from pan to pa from from pan to fire. All these things matter a lot. President Muhammadu Buhari came when Nigerians really needed change, and everybody was like, "Change, we want to change." Not knowing that the change they are talking about is something else. Who is the person? You understand? All these things matter a lot. Thank God they are now beginning to understand that. Uh, uh, presidency, having presidency in your region does not give you uh, a safe heaven. You understand? What I mean is that when Gulag Jonathan was a president of uh, Nigeria, I don't think the Northerners are uh, experienced three quarter of what they are experiencing right now, even when their brother is on the seat. So we have to be very, very careful. You understand? On this, because Nigeria is on already. Uh, a shaking is about to to go down. Even those who are glamouring for presidency in the south are set of wicked and corrupt politicians who have negatively imparted their constituencies while in power. Someone dropped that. They never see anything. Let them continue to be celebrating, you know, incompetency and total failure of their Messiah, Baba. The South East does not need your power. You people should continue with the power you people are born to rule. Rule, but nothing to show for it. The South East don't wash their hands, come out for Nigeria presidency. All we need is Biafra, and Biafra we shall get. Oya oh, yeah, Abu Salami Mohammed, come and attack me. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. What's your take on signing this new development by Ariwa Youth? Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much.